Welcome mates and Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunkami Lordy and today we're back on Paragon. Once again, there should be some footage in the background showcasing the new hero Zinx. Could be the overview or the announcement trailer of the character, but that does not matter. What we're going to talk about is obviously the new hero Zinx will be released in a couple of hours from now and also talk about how to counter this hero. This is going to pretty much be our new hero counter guide on the new hero Zinx. So this is going to be really fun and we got some very juicy information. But before we get to this video, make sure you smash that bloody like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. When you do end up encountering Zinx in the gameplay experience of Paragon, you're going to notice that she's pretty much like a tank and she's hard to kill and also she does damage over time. That is pretty much what she does when it comes to her gameplay within the Paragon experience. But there's many ways to slow her down and make her super weak with certain cards and also a certain hero. Let's jump into the certain hero that you want to use against Zinx. And that is Lieutenant Belka. Lieutenant Belka is a prime choice against that character, and she can counter Zinx pretty well due to the fact that Zinx has that general health bar that every player does have, but also once she hits mid-game stages and gets that level 5 point into her ultimate, she's pretty much able to have a second health bar because her mana bar will transform into that second health bar. And if the enemy Zinx play is already good with mana management, she'll be able to pretty much destroy in every fight. But once you put Lieutenant Belka right in front of her, she's pretty much really weak because, and if Lieutenant Belka is able to drain that mana away from her, she becomes weaker by the second. And majority of the time, the Zinx player will use her mana to stay up in a team fight with her ultimate, and then pretty much when she's out of mana, she's pretty much really weak. Well, the Tim Belka's ultimate does scale on missing mana when it comes to enemies that she's targeted. So Zinx is a prime target to use your ultimate on because it'll be able to do a lot of damage towards that target. So if you're looking for a hero that will counter the new hero Zinx, Make sure you pick Lieutenant Belka in your team comp. When it comes to picking a card that you can put in your deck and obviously using your build in the Paragon experience against the new hero Zinx, Thick Blood will be the best card to use. It's a universal card so all heroes can use it with the initial stacks of 12 power and 30 mana. Pretty understandable universal stats on this card. Then when it comes to unique passive, this is when it kicks in and helps countering with the new hero Zinx. On hit with the ability, apply Blight to enemies for 4 seconds. Blight reduces all healing by 40%. So this is the Blight mechanic cards they can use with your abilities every time you land an ability on the enemies. For 4 seconds, Blight mechanic will be affecting those heroes. Meaning when they do get healed, 40% of that healing is lost. Potentially making that Zinx play once she's toggled her ultimate, impossible to heal as much without the thick blood mechanic or the blood mechanic being applied onto her. So instead of waiting for the enemy character to run out of mana so you can kill her, most likely before she's even at zero mana or close to around that range, which is super low mana, you can kill before she reaches that stage because the blood mechanic is a massive counter towards her. So thick blood is a very good choice against her. In version 42, that could change because we're going to obviously have new cards, new card effects, and there won't be any universal cards in version 42. So thick blood might be deleted or thick blood could transform into some other named card with the exact same card effect of the blight mechanic but be selected into a different affinity we don't know what affinity that's going to be most likely it's going to do with something with growth because obviously you're taking away some type of sustain from the enemy player maybe growth is a good choice for that card's placement but we shall see what happens with that but mates as always tell me in the comment section down below do you know any cards that can counter the new hero Zinx or any other heroes that will counter tell me why in the comment section down below because obviously it's really great to read those and just pretty much overall good idea before the actual new hero does come out so everyone knows how to counter this hero before it's actually out obviously we talked about two factors which are really great but also there could be some other factors that I may be missed out on in this video so leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below so mates if you did enjoy this video show us why smash that blow like button let's try to get 200 likes on this video if you guys want to see more power gaming content gaming content in general and content by me on my channel all you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to come mate today and that is all for this video oh time to go don't you worry I'll back very soon hey death boys because you ain't seen nothing yet Mate, I'm already super tired and I just woke up. Well, we got a massive day in front of us. <laughs>